It's a time of year where we're honoring our veterans and discussing the raising of the flag at Iwo Jima, next on One Nation. You get it? I don't know. I wish I could have seen their faces. The right picture can win or lose a war. You're gonna want to see this. Now, this picture. People went crazy over it. The country was tired of war. One photo, almost all on its own, turned that around. Hello America, welcome to One Nation. I'm Dr. Jake Jacobs. In honor of our veterans, I'd like to talk about the iconic picture from World War II, the raising of the flag at Iwo Jima. You'll notice it's also on our background behind me. Our, our wonderful producer uh, came up with the idea of the raising of the flag because it truly symbolizes what's great and exceptional about our nation. In that picture, by the way, the man in the middle was uh, by the name of John Bradley. It's from my hometown of Appleton, Wisconsin. In fact, I'm actually doing this uh, presentation right here in Appleton. Our studio is in Appleton, Wisconsin. John Bradley from the U.S. Navy actually went to high school in Appleton, Wisconsin. Back then it was called Appleton High School. Today it's Appleton West. And in fact, there's a memorial on the uh, campus there at Appleton West, just to, like I said, a mile down the road from here. But the beautiful thing about that picture is it really shows the, the amazing sacrifice that was given by our, our servicemen during World War II. Three of those men in that picture did not come home alive. Uh, they were from Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, New Hampshire, Arizona, Connecticut. Uh, they represented really the, what was great about our country from all 50 states. In fact, at the at Battle of Iwo Jima, over 7,000 of our, our brave young men died. 19,000 were wounded. Over 405,000 Americans died in World War II, uh, liberating Italy and liberating France and liberating Germany and liberating the Philippines and liberating the, even the Japanese from the oppression of imperial Japanese military of that time period. And so really the, this uh, raising of the flag at Iwo Jima represents the, the will and the desire of, of our great nation, our great people of that nation, to fight for freedom in this land. Um, for the longest time, by the way, it was thought that the man in the middle, John Bradley, was in that picture. We found out later on that it was, and in fact, it was Raymond Jacobs who took a picture of the first picture. But regardless of that, um, that error that was made early by the Marines, it really, once again, represents the greatness of America. My own father, Joe Jacobs, who was a true G.I. Joe during World War II, he actually was a radio man and a PBY Catalina during World War II. And I can remember as a kid... Uh, my dad telling me stories about the war and his buddies coming over and many of his friends actually fought in the war uh, in the Pacific, excuse me, in the European theater. Uh, in fact, one of them in specific was in the Battle of the Bulge and fought in Patton's Third Army. And so as a young kid, I was instilled with this understanding of the sacrifice and the, uh, the bravery of so many of our veterans back in the day. In fact, I can remember uh, we used to play Sandlot football by my house. And uh, when the game was over, we went to a little burger place called the snack shack and we were eating burgers and drinking root beer and all of a sudden it was about 10 12 of us we realized that all of our dads had been in the war and it gave me a sense of the awesomeness of of what Tom Brokaw calls the greatest generation that World War II generation so once again this this symbol this iconic symbol of the raising of the flag at Iwo Jima is really as emblematic of the greatness of America the the uh, the vision of America that has allowed itself to uh, sacrifice literally hundreds of thousands of millions of Americans sacrificing for not only us to be free but for many nations to be free now sadly and unfortunately there's individuals out there uh, like John Nichols the socialist journalist John Nichols who's written the book The S Word a short history of the American tradition of socialism. And in this book, John Nichols uh, eulogizes and talks about the greatness of socialism and what a bad, egregious country America is and how evil capitalism is, etc. And you'll notice what he does in the cover of his book. He takes that beautiful flag raising of the old glory uh, of the stars and stripes, and he makes it into a socialist, a communist, a uh, anarchist flag 
shame on him. But it really, really reflects the what's been happening in American culture where the socialization, the, the Marxism that has been infiltrating within the various institutions of our nation. Uh, people like John Nichols, they actually should learn the story of an amazing American by the name of William Carney. William Carney was an ex-slave who escaped from the Democratic slave state of Virginia and went to the free state of Massachusetts. Uh, he eventually joined the 54th Massachusetts Regiment, which was an all-black regiment. And in the Civil War, he fought in the famous Battle of Wagner. And in this battle, he noticed that the, the flag bearer had been shot and the flag was falling. And what did William Carney do? Dodging bullets and getting shot in the face and shot in the shoulder and shot in the legs, he captured the American flag before it fell and hit the ground. And he raised it up in glory and came back to his regiment and he cried out, Oh boys, we saved the flag. It never touched the ground. Now, it's, it's in my heart that I wish that people like Colin Kaepernick and, and many others like John Nichols who bastardize American history and talk about the greatness of socialism and how our republic under God is, is an egregious nation, I wish that individuals like that would actually learn the story of William Carney. It's interesting to note that when William Carney, after the Civil War, he traveled America, especially in the New England area, uh, talking uh, to audiences all around that area about the uh, exceptional nature of our country, the greatness of our country. And when he died in 1908, uh, the flag of Massachusetts was flown at half mass. That was an honor given to congressmen, senators, and U.S. presidents. Uh, once again, it shows the greatness of America. A man like uh, William Carney, who uh, actually there was a song called Boys, the Old Flag Never Touched the Ground. And yet we have an individual like Colin Kaepernick with this poison that's permeated through the National Football League and this poison that is permeated through our culture that he's not going to stand up and show pride in a flag because he believes that black people and people of color are being oppressed in this nation. If this was the year uh, 1861 or 1961, I might agree with him. But in 2017, this nation has come a long way. This is an amazing nation of economic and social opportunities and where uh, Barack Obama became president of the United States. And so, sadly, we see that this, this cultural Marxism, this, uh, this um, socialism that's permeated our universities and many of our institutions and even our media has caused too many young people, too many millennials to be attracted to socialism. And I would argue and I would uh, believe strongly that it's important for us to come back to our republic's roots, those great roots that have made this nation great. And until next week, always remember, the truth shall set you free. If you thought that was cool, check out more videos on freedomproject.com. You'll enjoy them.